filming a true crime documentary is called I Am a Killer, featuring a Joplin man who was convicted of first degree murder. Gary Black fatally stabbed Jason Johnson back in 1998, but John is not the only victim. KOM's Amber Jenkins spoke with a Joplin man who recounts his encounter with his killer. Gary Black actually shot me. They ro robbed me, shot me, and left me for dead. Jackie Clark Sr. was robbed and shot by Gary Black near I-44 in Joplin when he was 18 years old. I, I knew just to lay still, real still, because uh, I could feel the blood running out of me, out of my back, and uh, you could stick almost like three fingers in my back. The encounter left Jackie with lifelong scarring and health issues. I lost uh, part of my lung, half my lung, spleen. Uh, Hit my pancreas real hard. They was really worried about it. Perforated it really, really bad, but it did heal. Uh, took a lot of intestine out, you know. So um, I got real bad scars, you know. So, but uh, I had strong will to live. Even his children lived in fear due to Gary Black. And I never saw what he looked like until probably 14 years ago or so. But I just had this mental image of him. And I would have all these nightmares where his face was in that window. Just, it was like a, just a reoccurring nightmare of him being, his face being in that window. If Jackie looked into the eyes of the man who left him to die, he'll see pure <laughs> evil. What's he going to tell me? He's sorry. And I don't think he is. He might be sorry that I lived, because if I had lived, he would have got off. He's, he's been the source of nightmares my entire life. You know, and like, I mean, what he did to my dad and what he did to Jason. And if he wasn't locked away, what he'd probably do to other people. After barely surviving, Jackie wanted to spend his life saving others. I was a volunteer fireman before that, uh, but uh, that's when I decided I wanted to be a fireman. Reporting in Joplin, Amber Jenkins, KOM News. Netflix's season four of I'm a Killer is going to premiere on December 21st.